Hi, this is Isabella, and I'm going to cover a calculation for compounding that you'll find in Chapter 16 of your math book, number 7. So I'll give you time to go to page 121, Chapter 16, number 7. And this is um, the latest edition for 2013. The question is, how much ichthamol is needed to prepare two ounces of this ichthamol compound. So they give us several ingredients, ichthamol, lanolin, petrolatum, but let's focus on the ichthamol. So I know I'm going to answer back in solving for grams of ichthamol. So my first fraction in my equation is going to be 100 grams, and I'll put I for ichthamol, over the 1,000 grams, which represents the total compound that's being made. And this was pulled exactly from the recipe that they give us. It says, if you use the following formula, 100 grams of ichthamol, and then lanolin, then pentrolatum, to make 1,000 grams. So that's my first fraction. Then you know we carry that bottom unit up and over, and I want to incorporate a unit or a conversion that's going to make sense, that's going to bring in my problem. So if I know grams is on top, there's really nothing else relevant that I can bring in other than a conversion that helps me link in ounces. So that's where I get this 31 grams is what's equal to one ounce in the apothecary system. And notice they give us a hint at the bottom of the problem. That's a typo. Uh, the publisher did not discover that, so I apologize for that. It says, hint, use 31 grams equals 102. It should be one and then ounce, O-Z. So that's my second fraction. We'll carry that ounce up and over, and that actually what's um, the last piece of our equation uh, we're trying to make two ounces of this total compound. So this is your final equation, and when we work all that out, we get 6.2 grams of the ichthamol. So I hope this helps.